Hello everyone, welcome to the next art tutorial. Today, you are going to learn how to cut the print on your lino pad. You will need your lino pad and a box of lino cutter. Inside this box, there is a liner handle with five blades of different tips. On each blade, there are numbers on the reverse side of it. Each blade cuts different types of lines. Number 1 and 2 are blades with shape V. These blades allow you to be precise in cutting unwanted areas along the black lines. The difference between number 1 and 2 are the thickness of the line you are cutting. Number 1 cuts a very thin line but it's a little hard to maneuver. Number 2 cuts similar line as number 1 but thicker. I recommend you to use this for thin lines. Blade number 3 and 4 are the U-shaped blades. These blades are used to remove large pieces of the lino. Blade number 3 is used to carve out large areas whereas blade number 4 is used to cut out larger areas. Blade number 5 is a knife blade. This is usually being used to make slits on the lino pad. Let me show you how to put the blade in the handle. Loosen the aluminium ferrule with the T-shape facing you. Take the blade. Put in the rounded part of the blade with the blade facing down into the T-shaped area here. Tighten the ferrule. When holding the lino cutter, do not hold it like a pencil. This way, it's tough for you to do your carving. Put it back on the table and just grab it with your hand like you are picking up something from the table. Before we start cutting the design, let's practice first. Flip to the blue part of the lino and cut random lines. When cutting, use your dominant hand to handle the cutter and always place your non-dominant hand behind the cutter because if your cutter slips, it won't hurt your non-dominant hand. You can also turn your lino according to your comfort level while cutting. Now practice carving long straight lines, curved lines, short lines, circle, The more pressure you put in, the deeper the carve is. After you are done practicing, you can start cutting your design on the reverse area. I start cutting by using blade number 2 first to cut along the edges of the black line. Your carved area should not be too shallow. It should be deep so when rolling the ink later, the carved areas will not have ink. Once you are done carving, Take out the blade by loosening the ferrule. Put the blades in the small ziplock bag together with the rest of them. Put the pack of blades and the lino handle tool back in the box. Have fun carving guys!